you already know pharmac is a game changer in the inict exam but here's the problem huge syllabus too many drugs to remember and less than 60 days left for the exam students often feel overwhelmed with pharmacology subject but here's the truth you do not need to mug up every single line what you need is a laser focused revision plan focusing on the high yield topics and the previous year repeats to give you the edge over the other aspirants hi i am dr sahil ingra from team meritus today i will be showing you all in the next few minutes how to revise pharmacology subject in minimum time with least amount of effort let's start the first you have to identify the high yield topics of pharmacology for your nict so roughly the weightage for your pharmac subject is around 10 to 12 questions at times they can ask you around 14 15 questions sometimes they will ask you around 7 to 8 questions but the average is around 10 to 12 questions they will ask same as your general anatomy so when it comes to your medical subjects your anat and your pharmac are the two most important medical subjects for your nicet now in pharmac there are seven chapters broadly starting from your chemotherapy ans blood and endocrine ansets and other cns drugs the general pharma which includes your biotransformation and all cvs git and respiratory drugs the local and general anesthesia and your extra cover now among these if you see the most important and the most vast is your chemotherapy if you read any pharmac book you will see it is divided into two parts the chemotherapy a and b so both are very important next is your ans blood and endocrine these three drugs are again very very important then your nsaids as these are the most commonly used for your in your dental treatment also so the nsaids among your cns become the most important in the general pharmac they will ask you definitely they will ask you one question this is the short short question in your inict exam that they will definitely ask you to calculate a half life of a drug or they will ask you some formula based question in this general pharma they will mostly ask you regarding some formulas then the cvs git and respiratory this is not much important but the main thing here is you have to just know the classification that which drug belongs to which of the following class so here they will ask you basically only from the classification then in the local and general anesthesia this is again important and another thing is you can link this with your oral and maxillofacial surgery where you will read a lot about your anesthetics so if you cover anesthesia well you will cover around two to three more subjects where this is found for example in your oral surgery also and that extra cover again this is the one of the most important ones in pharmac because it will include all your past repeats in pharmac the repeats are very important because anyways it is a very lengthy subject very difficult to cover most students think it is the most difficult subject during their preparation so the focus should be on your repeats and the extra cover then after this you have to do minimum last 5 year question papers that is your 10 papers from your 2021 up to 24 then in step 3 we have to study in a smart manner because the weightage for pharma is not as much as it is for your other core subjects which are the dental subjects like your ortho prosto oral surgery etc and in pharma most of the times they are asking the basic questions like i told you the formulas of your calculate the half life of the drug etc and your classifications now classifications you should know even for for all the chapters for example your ans drugs which are cholinergics which are anticholinergics then with your cvs git respiratory disorders they will mostly ask you from these classifications so classifications become very important specifically in your chemotherapy cardiovascular these classifications are very important which drug is given for angina which drug is given for arrhythmias so they will ask you these basic questions and last is you have to revise at least 3 to 4 times again a lot of things to remember it is a memory based subject you have to use mnemonics here similar to your general nat and the goal here is to segregate the most important topics and complete them first topics like chemotherapy 
and ans the blood these are very important topics for your ini along with this the repeats and in pharmac they can also ask you match the following match the followings are commonly asked in pharmac and so this is the basic foundation for your pharmacology subject the goal is to focus on the most important topics first and do the repeats very well because if you are able to score well in the repeats and the basics you will already outscore the other students because it is a very difficult subject for all of the students so with this we come to the end of this video if you found it helpful do follow us on instagram and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have not yet downloaded the meritors app you can download it from the play store or the app store also for your ins et november exam we have created a separate playlist on youtube you can go to the playlist and watch all the subject wise videos for your ins et exam thank you and have a nice day